Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new around here, hi, my name is Melissa, ignore my hair, it's very fluffy, because it's all dry shampoo, basically. Anyway, today, as you can see, we are going to be doing this rainbow fun look with a cut crease, some liner. We're just going to have fun and put a lot of makeup on our faces, like always. Um, I'm going to use my Patricia Bright palette again. I used it kind of recently, but I wanted to use it again, and we're going to do this. Of makeup. So if you want to see how I did this look here, then why not just keep on watching? I feel like I look like the back end of a bus right now. <laughs> okay, let's uh, prime. Revlon. What else? Well, I've been using primer recently, haven't I? So <laughs> could have been anything, but it's Revlon. <laughs> it's great. It's wonderful, it is amazing, and you should all try it as an eye primer. Robert, that includes you. Boo, boo, boo. I don't sleep anymore, and I wake up at like 1pm. <laughs> my life is a mess. So yeah, I was going to use my Stacey palette, and then I picked it up and I was like, uh, 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 I've used it quite a lot recently. Also, maybe I should try and find a drugstore palette that I could do a super similar look with. <laughs> Hence, Patricia Bright Rich in Colour. This one. I used this fairly recently as well. I can't remember what look I did with it. Could have been similar to this. I don't know. My creative juices are running out because I'm uploading so many tutorials. This is just about me playing, experimenting. I mean, this eye, it's... I still need to work on this part because that's not blended, is it? But I'm just kind of having fun. I want it to look a bit just like all colory. That makes no sense. But I just want it to be fun and bright and silly and that's what we're here for. Mm, that candle smells nice. I never like candles anymore. The first shade I'm going to reach for is green juice. This one. I always feel like I'm a bit sillier when I'm just kind of messing around with makeup and that's what we're doing today. I mean, I feel like I've got quite a lot of work left to do on these this, this look, so we're just messing. I'm just going to shove that at the front all over. Is it above the crease? Indeed it is, ma'am. I would not say this is a dupe for the Stacey Marie, but I would say it's done quite a good job of being a different palette than the Stacey Marie and still working. I'm going to grab this deep matte blue called No Boo. I'm just going to stamp this on the outer part. Why would I don't like these colours together either? <laughs> People outside are talking very loudly. Oi, Dave! Dave! Then I'm gonna grab Pillow Talk. This one. Yonder. And this is gonna get sandwiched in between the two. A lot of this will be covered up. Oh, looking good, eh? Looking good. Looking good, Melissa. That's it. We're done. I just dropped this eyeshadow brush on my new white t-shirt. Err, uh, what, what did I do next? Right, I'm going to start blending it. I'm going to take the shade backstage and just drag this blue up to the end of my brow. This look again, just like my recent looks because I love this shape. We'll get more dramatic when we put our base on. I'm going to grab Fruit Punch, a lovely pink. And that will go above that pillow top shade. You know how it be. Then I'm going to grab Vitamin C, which is the same shade name as the yellow in the Soph Extra Spice palette I know it's today. I'm just going to use this around this lime green just to kind of blend it a little pinch but I still want to keep a real vibrancy at the front I am then going to grab the shade Reckless I'm going to just sweep this in between our pink and our blue I'm not bothered about the lid because I'm going to be covering all of that up it's all just very much a case of 
playing around. Who knows? I'm going to take a little bit of Yes Peaches. I'll just pop that a little bit between where the pink and the yellowy green meet. Again, I'll be covering a lot of this up. Okay, I'm literally going to leave it like that, throw on my cut crease because I did actually quite a lot of the blending once I put my cut crease on. So, ABHI primer. You know me, I take the lazy route, I don't wipe off. Okay, so I'm just gonna do like a rounded cut crease and I'm taking it like all the way over. This is smaller than I need it to be, I'm just kind of getting a shape because I feel for my eye, it's gone. And we don't want that. far over, it was a lot farther than I usually do. Do you know what, I did get Vaseline, where is it? To see if I could try the removing it with Vaseline and then stuff, but I don't know, I don't wanna do that today. So yeah, I'll just make this match to the other side and then we will fill it in. I am gonna set this in place with shimmering up here. Just most of it. And I'll grab a smidgen of Love Song just beside it. Same brush. Just gonna pop that on over here. Just a little. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of Ocean, mm. ocean Tape. This will go at the end. Because it will help her blend into our blue outer edge and oh, I'll do the glitter in a sec on the outer corner obviously I'm gonna go in with no boo and I'll just you know plop it on so I'm taking more eye primer because we're gonna do our kind of liner now so I'm just using like a uh, wing liner brush. I actually really do like this Colourpop one. The other would be my Zoeva 317 by Save That From A Brows. And I'm going to do quite a thick line all the way to the inner corner. And then we are going to take green juice again. I'm not opening my eye fully because I don't want to transfer this anywhere else. I'm going to pack that on here, all the way up here. I'm just really packing it on because I want to cover up the whole top of that line and just make sure it's as much pigment as I can get like that. And then mix gel liner. Found it. And I'm just gonna fill in this bottom half with black liner. And it comes to kind of like a spike. All the way to the inner corner. This took me ages. So, can you hear all the cars I say? I'm sure you can. Surely, surely, surely. Tell me you don't hear that. I dare you. Right, that's kind of matching. It's as matching as, you know, Melissa can get. So, we're going to go back in with Nobu, that deep matte navy. I'm going to tap this over the end of that black liner just to try and get it to like fade into the blue. All right, and then I had to add a little bit of glitter because it's me, I'm using my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner Grind, which is the light pink one. I'm just gonna like cover the front half of my cut crease with this glitter. I don't think it picks up hugely on camera. You can see over here it's super glittery whereas this side isn't so I think maybe you can see it. 
not going over the green though, just on the like white shimmer. I'm just going to keep my eye kind of half open. I don't want to like open it and put the glitter everywhere else. Clean up my face. The other day when I went to Asda, I wore it very, very minimal makeup. I actually just put on like concealer, tiny bit of contour and mascara. And what I did was for like having a nice, healthy looking base, I took my Makeup Revolution Hydration Boost moisturizer and just put some of that on i've ordered the i did a tiny little makeup revolution order i got the bronzer like one of the new ones i really wanted for ages and the watermelon version of this and i'm very very excited to try that let me tell you um and i took my becca backlight priming filter i took one and a half two pumps of that and I just mixed it in with my moisturiser and my skin looked so nice and dewy and then when I just put a wee bit of concealer on I just, it looked pretty good. It looked like I had no makeup on and I just had super healthy skin and I got wolf whistled at in Asda so it must have worked. I am going to again use my Conceal and Hydrate foundation. 6.5 doesn't match me properly but when does a foundation ever match Melissa properly? Probably not ever. <laughs> Great coverage and I didn't want to throw on a matte foundation. No, I will say about that Becca filter priming thing is if you have, if you're like really aware of your skin texture or if it bothers you and it's something that you try and like, you know, use primers to hide, I wouldn't recommend it because it, cause it is like a all over highlighter. It does kind of emphasize skin texture that you have. I'm gonna do another Full Face Makeup Revolution. I do them all the time because I love Makeup Revolution. But I'm not gonna do that today because I'm gonna wait for some of my new bits to arrive, which is only, I think, yeah, the moisturizer, the bronze and a highlighter as well, so. Yeah, I'm not going to use all Makeup Revolution today. I'm going to actively avoid doing that. Yeah, I'll use my Too Faced Born This Way multi-use to cream contour and conceal. Cream contour. Why am I doing my jaw? It just happens. Um. Yeah, I just cream contour all the time now because I love it so much. I go through phases though, don't I? But it's kind of like, I can't be bothered this week and then oh, the next week I'm like, yep, yeah, I got to, got to do it. What shade was that? That was Warm Sand, which isn't necessarily a perfect shade of cream contour for me, but it's the only deep one I have from this line. Everything just blends nice over this foundation because it's so hydrating and lovely. I know this looks ridiculous right now. It will all work out. And then I will use Marshmallow today as my concealer. This is probably, I would say, my favorite um, high-end concealer now. Because it's just, I keep saying it, but it's because people still buy the Jouer on my recommendation. And I do love the Jouer foundation, the concealer. But this is just so much better value for money and it's like the same coverage and it's super hydrating and lovely. And I just feel like I need to let people know about it more because I do love the Jouer. But yeah, this is just much better value for money. It's great coverage. Is there anyone else that hates cooking and hates making food eating better? during this time. I definitely am because there's like nothing else to do so I might as well spend a little bit more time making nicer food. So I've been having like, um, there's a salmon, I don't know who it's by. And you, you can put it in the oven or the microwave and I just microwave it because it's four minutes and it's got this lovely sauce with it and then I make potatoes and peas and I just have this delicious meal. This whole base just looks lush. Full coverage, but got dewiness, glow. What more could you want? 
Because I'm trying to use up my makeup, I'll use Jeffree Star Translucent because this is the one I've got the least of. Because I've got Fair as well. This is one. I want like by the end of the year all my makeup gone. And by all my makeup gone, I mean like foundations, concealers, um, setting sprays, all that kind of thing that's like perishable. I don't know if setting spray is perishable, but you know what I mean, like liquidy products that need used up in a time frame. Oh, this powder smells lovely. Makeup stays on my face really, really, really well. The only place I notice after like eight hours, usually, like when I'm using all my favorite products, of getting like greasy, it's those little like nose crevices. So I always just like pack my powder in there and it really helps. Then I'll just use that powder all over my face. Oh, you literally just want to eat this powder because it smells that good. And it set real well as well, considering how dewy my base was. I'll wipe that off in a couple of seconds. I just need to change my camera battery. Gosh, I hope this looks coming together. I really do. Do you know what I need to use up? It's this Morphe one. They were recently all 50% off. Oh, on the Morphe site, which was a really good deal actually. And for contour, what will we do? I'll use this Makeup Obsession Throw Shade Palette because I never reach for this. And technically it's Makeup Revolution, isn't it? But let me just put some lip balm on though whilst I'm contouring. Oh, this is lip oil. Tastes like watermelon, spicy arty. I'm putting together my list of all the movies I've watched and enjoyed, the TV series. I don't think I'll film that today though because I'm still kind of compiling it and I want to have like a real solid list of movies that I would recommend and TV shows and YouTubers. I want to sit and do like more chatty videos as well. Like I need to go through favourites, do another like favourites video and stuff like that because I think I've done so many tutorials recently that I need to just kind of take a little bit of a break from it from like doing so many um, and just like give myself time to think up new looks and new colour schemes and stuff and we all get to that point where we lose a little bit of inspiration and just need some time to recharge so that's what I'm going to do I'll use my Jouer suntan sun sun light sun tan bronzer i really wish beauty bay would do another big sale i would probably spend a little bit of money i really want this stila new double-ended glitter and glows with the matte on one side and the glitter on the other like i'm dying to try them but 24 pounds mm. the mint one mint julep looks beautiful so it is one of the blue ones I added all the shades I wanted to my basket, it was like a hundred and something pounds and I just laughed and then clicked off. I'm sure a lot of you do the same, where you just like go through your website, add everything to your basket and you're like, wow. You look at the total and you just have to have a bit of a giggle and close the tab. Um, we will put highlight on and then we'll finish our eyes. I'll use Ofra Star Island because I have been using it recently and enjoying it and it would be nice to use it up a bit more we might as well put blush on while we're here and then we'll finish off the eyes i am definitely going to use benefit georgia i love this blush so much got this Zoeva brush i can try for blush see how i feel about it i'm already liking it more than my previous one Remember when I did my, when I entered that feel, feel unique competition and they sent you a link to their website and they were like pick 10 things um, and it, like there was only like one caveat like you weren't allowed to pick Chanel or YSL or something I can't remember and uh, I got a set of Zoeva brushes and I was like Aww. because I'd always wanted a set of Zoeva brushes and that's how we got them. Anyway, I didn't get far in that competition. Because <laughs> you had, what, 
20 minutes to do a full face avant-garde makeup look and I can't even put my eyebrows on in that time so yeah it didn't work out for me I'm not entirely sure what to do with the eyes I'll probably just keep dragging it out making it more dramatic on the outer corners um, and then see what we need to do I feel like a lot of hair somewhere I might introduce like a bit of green on the outer corner I might go in with rich rich and just like pull it out with that it's just kind of a hodgepodge of color isn't it you know this really is a good palette I think you could think I was using high-end shadows I mean I do feel like you have to put more work in to get the pigment but I mean it's still working really well and as long as in the end you get a good result I don't really mind that you have to put in like a bit of extra work I'll use that same brush and a bit more no boo or deep matte blue just to drag out as well I've just thought of a new series I have to add to that list see this is why I can't film it yet because there's so much I need to talk about let me just take a clean brush first though and a bit more green juice just pop this at the end as well. Yeah, I have to get this hair out my eye. Oh, I got it. Maybe we could focus more like purples down below because they're not hugely like evident up above. So I'll take. Will we keep it warm toned or cool toned? Mm. Purpley pink. We'll do a pillow talk. Pop this on. The pigment. Wow, it's quite remarkable. And I'll take more of Nobu just on that same brush. And just drag it in on your corners. I will blend underneath this with this pink's popping. I'm getting a wee smidge of fallout, but I'm not gonna let that upset me. And then I'll just take more green juice, I think. This brush doesn't have a name, I'm very sorry. Just a little pointy Morphe brush. Pop that down here. This look is so like tropical, I feel. I might just grab a little bit more of that pink's popping. Just more here. That's all right. Um, in a corner, just use that same highlight the over one. Plunk that in. I'll throw my brows and lashes on and then we'll decide what we're doing. I think this is, I mean it's going pretty well. I think it's just, it's a hodgepodge, it's kind of like watercolour almost I feel. Like it's kind of got that kind of vibe. Kind of, kind of, kind of. Yeah, so let me put brows on and lashes and then I think it will make a little bit more sense. I'm just going to use a nude eyeliner. Just keep my eyes looking a little bigger. Just like that. I'm probably a nude lip, let's be honest. Let's be realistic. Um, I just think a nude would look nicer. Um, I don't like these lashes, but I've put all the effort of putting them on. What are they? Fluff and wispy, I allure. And yeah, I don't like them, but. We will do nude and glossy today. I'm not gonna use my MUA lip liner, just so we can use something different. I'll use this pre-marketed one, which is fairly similar anyway, so. And Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer. It's so good, it's so cheap, it's so pale, it's so beautiful. I love it. 
Although I have to be in the mood for gloss because it is annoying. Ugh. Look at it. It's just gorgeous. I'm so messy when I put lip products on. It's really annoying actually. I have to fiddle one little bit too much and then I go out the lines. I will brush my hair and then we are done with this rainbowy something fun. Just put makeup on our faces and hope for the best kind of look. Well, I've uh, made myself look like I've got a perm. My hair has been held together by dry shampoo right now. That's why this bit's so fluffy. Like, <laughs> I look like I've got a perm, but we can ignore that. Anyway, this is the finished makeup look. Um, I had fun doing it. I always do have fun putting makeup on. Well, not always. That is a lie, but I had fun doing this. It's not perfect, but it's fun. It's a cut crease. It's got glitter. It's got pink. It's got colour. What more could Melissa want in a makeup look? Do you know what I mean? The skin's really nice too. I really like everything that I've used today and actually looking up close I think my skin looks really good so good combo good choices so yeah that's all for me today I hope you enjoyed this video just a little bit fun a little bit playing around I'm sure I could work on my blending but to be honest whatever I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my channel let me know what palettes you want to see me do looks with next I think I might pick out my Jaclyn Hill volume 2 I've had quite a few requests for that so yeah let me know what else you want to see and I'm gonna piss off, eat some dinner, maybe have more salmon again tonight. Mm -mm -mm. And I hope I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.